Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to add a link to objects that you've already grouped together. Okay. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, keep watching. So for instance, I have a rainbow right here. Okay. And what I did was I added a text box number one because I wanted to differentiate each rainbow. So this is a second rainbow. This is a third rainbow. And easily I can add um, a link to number one. I just go up here, say insert link, and then type in my link and I have a link there. And I could do the same thing with the rainbow. If I want to link something to the rainbow, I can insert link, add my link, and there it is. Now I have a link in there. Okay. But what makes it difficult is it's hard to move. Every time I want to move rainbow number one, I have to select the rainbow, and then I also have to select the number one in order for me to move it together. Okay. So a lot of people opt to group these so they're easier to move. So then you would group it. They would select the number and the rainbow, go to arrange, and then group the item. So they can move it anywhere and it would move all together. Now, let me move it back into place. You're going to notice something though. When I do this, if I click number one, my link is still in there. But you'll notice something about the rainbow. When I click the rainbow, the link is no longer in there. There's no link. What happened to the link? I actually don't know the answer to that. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to ungroup it just to prove to you that I did link it. I really did. Okay. I ungrouped it. You see, now when I click the rainbow, the link is there. Okay. So, hmm, what to do? I would have to link. So then I couldn't group it together. So that means I can't group it together. So I would always have to move or select both before I could move it. And it's not easy because I want the one centered. So I would have to readjust the number every time I wanted to move this rainbow. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to get a link in there. So I want you to look at rainbow two and I have a link in there. I'm going to click the number two, okay, just going to click the number two. The link is still there. Okay. Magic, right? Not really. I'm going to teach you how to add a link, even if you have your items grouped together. Okay. So let me go to the next slide. So right now I have the number one and a rainbow. I'm going to select all of it together and then I'm going to group them. So go to arrange group. Now I'm going to group them. Okay. This is how I'm going to make sure that no matter where my student clicks, they will get the link that I want them to go to. Okay. What I do is I get a shape. So I'm going to shapes. I'll just get a rectangle. You can get any shape. It won't matter. I'm going to use my shape and cover my entire rainbow. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add the link to the shape. So I'm going to say insert link paste it. Okay. So now I have a link in there. Now you're thinking, yeah, but now you have a gray shape over, over your rainbow and your number. That's not very attractive. That's not what I want the students to see a gray box. So what you do is for the gray box, you go to fill color, choose transparent, go to the outline, the border color, choose transparent, and it'll disappear. And now when my student comes, and I want them to click on a link, all they do is click. It would take them straight to my link. Oh, I hope this helped you um, figure out a way to add a link when you have objects that are grouped together. Have a good day.